So to continue my series looking for the best basics out there, I'm going to be reviewing Wheat Day today. I've picked up a load of different items from the brand and I'm going to talk about what I like about them and what I don't like about them or what I even hate about them. Now, hate's a very strong word, so hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but we'll see. Anyway, just for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 30 inch waist and I'll link everything from this video down in the description box below. But if you like this video at any point, please feel free to drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So in the series, I normally start off with the t-shirts, but for this video, I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works and start off with the jeans I'm wearing because I'm wearing them throughout this video. I do also have another pair of trousers to show you, but I'll show you those later on in the video. Anyway, the first pair that I picked up are their relaxed fit tapered barrel jeans. I got them in this washed black colorway. I don't think they're called a washed black colorway, but it is. And uh, yeah, the quality's all right on them. Nothing too special, but not bad either. They are made from organic cotton, which is lovely, but when I compare them to my Arquette jeans, for example, they're not quite as nice quality but they are cheaper. And these come in at 50 pounds, which I think is a great price for what you're getting. I actually really like the fit on these and I didn't think I would from the photos on the website, but I was pleasantly surprised. Now, although the fit is lovely, it's not perfect, but yeah, I picked these up in a size 30 waist and a 30 leg. I wanted them slightly cropped and yeah, they do give off that look. And when I say they're not perfect, it's because of the waistband. They've got quite a high rise and the waistband doesn't sit as snug as I'd like but that's just me being a bit picky and it's nothing a belt won't fix. The next piece that I picked up is this Jess Bennett and I picked it up in a size large. I did actually try this jumper on in a size medium as well, but there wasn't much difference in it. So I decided to keep the large. It's made from recycled cotton and it actually feels really nice. It's got a lovely crop length in the body, which is something that I do look out for with a lot of my tops these days. And the sleeves are really oversized, which I think is very much needed. If the sleeves were short as well, it would just look like this top didn't fit you at all. So yeah, I really like that look with this piece. It's got a bit of a looser knit this piece as well, so you can kind of see through it. So wearing a longer white t-shirt underneath would give off a really nice look. But overall, I really like this piece. It's got a solid weight to it. And for 40 pounds, I think that's a great price for what you're getting. So the next piece I picked up is their standard zip up hoodie. And I picked it up in a size medium. And it is exactly what it says on the tin or on the website. It's a very standard t-shirt, jumper, <laughs> hoodie. The fit on it is quite nice. I like the way the hood stands up, but it's a little bit too thin for my liking. It's made from a cotton and polyester blend and you can definitely feel the polyester in this hoodie. And polyester is something that I don't normally go for with my hoodies. And this comes in at 35 pounds, which is a great price for a hoodie. But then again, it's not quite right for me. I'd rather spend some more money and get something better quality. The next item I've got is this vest. And it's not something that I'd usually go for, but I was really drawn to this piece. I love the pattern on it and I thought it would add some nice contrast to a black hoodie. So that's what I'm going to wear it with. Anyway, this is made from wool and polyester. The padding is padded out with wool and the shell, I believe, is polyester, but it does feel decent. Now, this piece is very lightweight, but that wool padding is going to keep you nice and warm. And yeah, it's very comfortable. The other thing I really liked about this vest is its zipper. It's quite chunky, so it looks really nice, but it's also a two-way zipper, which is something that I really like. Now, I picked this up in a size medium and it does have quite a generous fit but I do like the fit on it. And this piece comes in at 55 pounds, which I think is a really fair price for what you're getting. It's gonna add some nice detail to your outfits in the cooler weather and keep you that bit warmer. So yeah, I'm a fan of this piece. The next piece I picked up is this overshirt in a size medium. And I did think from the photos that it could look quite hippie-like, um, which is not really my kind of thing. But I thought I'd give it a go anyway, and it might look nice with an all black fit. I have decided that the pattern might be a little bit too hippie-like for my liking, but I love the fit on this piece. I think I'd prefer this if it was in green and black or blue and black, or with some bold primary colors. I think it's that kind of washed out pastel kind of color. That's just not something I'd normally go for. Now that's not to knock this piece in any way. I know there's gonna be plenty of people out there who love this colorway, but it's just not my kind of thing. The fit of the jacket and the look of the jacket, I absolutely love. And if it comes out in a colorway that's more my kind of thing, I will 100% pick it up. This jacket comes in at 56 pounds, which I think is a great price for what you're getting. And if the colorway works for you, then this is a great jacket to go for. I'd highly recommend it. So the next item I've got is the famous Ken trousers. Now I've actually had these trousers for quite a while now, but I wanted to include them in this video. 
And for me, they're amazing for the price. Now, even though they're made from recycled polyester, they do feel a bit like a wool trouser and they do feel really nice quality. I picked these up in a size small and I love the way they fit. I love the way they drape and sit on the top of my shoe. And I think they're gonna be a great comfortable option in the autumn and winter months. But I'll be showing these off more in another video that I've got coming to the channel very soon. So I won't say much more on these. But if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss that one. Now I've got four t-shirts to show you next because I didn't know which fit I'd like best. So I better get a move on. Anyway, I picked up all of the t-shirts in a size medium and they all do vary in fit. So let's get into them. And I'll start off with their standard fitting t-shirt first and then work our way up to the more oversized ones. So for their standard fitting t-shirt, I picked it up in this beautiful green colorway and the quality does feel nice. Okay, so with the fit, it's fine. But for me, the body is too long in proportion to the sleeves. If the sleeves were a bit longer to balance it out a bit, then it might work a bit better. But for me, the body's too long and the sleeve length is too short for the body. This t-shirt comes in at £12, which is a great price for the quality, but the fit isn't quite right for me. If you like your t-shirts with a bit of extra length or you're taller than me, then this will probably work well for you. Next, we move on to their relaxed fitting t-shirt. And again, the quality feels nice. It's soft, it's got a nice thickness to it. And for 12 pounds again, it's a really decent price. Now this t-shirt doesn't feel any shorter than the last one, but because it's got more of a relaxed fit and the sleeves are a bit more relaxed, it works a lot better. For me, I'd still like the length of the t-shirt to be shorter, but a wash might sort that out. But even though I'd like this t-shirt to be shorter and slightly more boxy fitting, I still definitely wear it and I definitely prefer it over the standard tee. Next, we've got their oversized t-shirt and for me, it's too oversized. It just feels like I bought a size too big for me rather than buying a medium t-shirt with an oversized fit, if that makes sense. This one comes in at 16 pounds, so a little bit more expensive. And again, the material is nice, but it's not a fit that I go for. The next one we've got is the Great Tee, and I was expecting great things here. I've been wanting this t-shirt for quite some time, but it always looks different in photos. Sometimes it looks massive on the model, and sometimes it looks like a great fit. So I guess we'll see for ourselves. And this one comes in at 20 pounds, which is the most expensive t-shirt. And let's have a look at it on body. Okay, so the fit on this one takes oversized to a whole new level in my opinion. This is way bigger than I was expecting, and it's 100% not for me. The only thing that I really like with this piece is the material. It's a heavier weight material, and it does feel nice. But the size of it, it's just not something I'd wear. But I know there's people out there who love this kind of look. So if you're looking for an oversized t-shirt, a massively oversized t-shirt, that's decent quality, then try this one out. Okay, so now we've seen all that, is Weekday the best store for basics? The thing that I really do like about Weekday is that they experiment with the cuts of their clothing. Sometimes the cuts don't work for me and sometimes they can be a bit out there, but that's just down to personal taste. In my opinion, there's no doubt about it, the quality of the clothing and the fashion forward cuts that they offer for the price is excellent. And I know not everything worked for me in this video, but I still do really like the brand and I do find them very exciting. And especially for a basics brand as well. A lot of basics brands out there play it quite safe. So it's nice to have one to go to where you can get affordable basics that are a little bit more experimental. But they're a brand that I always keep my eye on and over the years, I've had some really nice pieces from them and I do highly rate them. But sadly, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please do leave the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.